Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, a free press in, is no longer possible in Serbia. Journalists have stood accused and convicted of attempting to overthrow the constitutional order and jeopardizing the security of the state. Draconian fines have been imposed in the name of the law, depriving journalists livelihood and effectively shutting down their publications. A month ago I was a successful publisher and owner of two influential popular publications daily newspaper Nani Telegraph and news magazine Europe. Mr. Chairman, I stand before you today as a man whose company has been ruined, whose publishing house assets have been seized and whose publications have been banned by Slobodan Milosevic regime. The regime cracked down on my publication and others began on October 14th when Daily Dani Telegraph was banned because of the front page headline which said NATO approves, approves activation order Milosevic sign agreement. The Ministry of Information determined that this straightforward news reporting fell under the category of spreading fear and defeatism at one o'clock in the morning, police forcibly removed journalists from a newsroom and sealed Nare Telegraph uh, premises. At that point, I would like to bring to your attention that throughout this crisis regime, media in Belgrade suppressed the fact that NATO approved the activation order and that Slobodan Milosevic acted under duress. Nine days later, on October 23, news magazine European it was fined exorbitantly after a political trial in front of a magistrate's court. The magazine was charged with inciting a violent overthrow of Yugoslav constitutional order. Why? An open letter to President Slobodan Milosevic, in which a colleague and I criticized his 10 years rule. We accuse him for destroying everything Serbs had created in 150 years and we offered 13 suggestions for Serbia's salvation. The regime responded by slapping us with $260,000, fine to be paid in full within 24 hours. It invoked a new press law that was passed two days after we went into print and applied it retroactively. On October 25, financial police, accompanied by 30 officers under arms, seized Nary Telegraph assets and the paper's entire press run. They blockaded my house and kept my family and friends under siege until 3 a.m. Policajci su bili vrlo grubi, bezobrazni, nisu hteli da kažu koji mi je komandir, ja sam silazio dole nekoliko puta, moji prijatelji su došli, nisu hteli da ih puste u zgradu. Ja sam izašao da ih pitam da sam uhapšen, od njih 20 je zurilo u mene i čutalo. Nisu mi dozvolili da izađem, nisu dozvolili mojim prijateljima i advokatu čak da uđu, a onda sam morao fizički s njima da se razračunavam da bih uvukao brata sa kiše koja je tu nekoliko sati stajao dole u dvorište. Ovaj, u, u zgradu i to sam uspel. They wanted to destroy me economically and they done that. They thought I would stop publishing but I didn't. Because you know we are very radical critics of their policy here and I refuse to be controlled I must tell you and that is really one of main reasons they done what they done to us. Mi nemamo izbora, dakle to je poenta, mi smo potpuno lišeni straha od njih, mi se njih ne bojimo. Mislim da su se oni namerili na neke ljude, to jest na nas i vidim i druge kolege, i da pokreću rad koji će svakako izgubiti. Mi ćemo novinari biti ostatak života, a oni neće biti političari ostatak života i mi ćemo naravno pomoći da budu što kraći. When I met her last time, on a day when they passed that crazy and unconstitutional law information, I said, look Mira, this is very bad, this is dictatorship, this is recession, etc, etc, etc. She said, we should have done it 
three years ago, this crazy government done it on the beginning of this month. I was telling them, years and years, you know as well as them, I was writing also about it, we should have done it three years ago. Ja, na sreću, kad sam ušao u borbu sa ovim represivnim režimom, nisam se uopšte zanosio mišlju da će neko od njih da me brani. Ja to radim sam, ali je sramota za profesiju i krajnje je vreme da se zaista kolege trgnu i da shvati da ovo što se sad meni događa nije nikakav privatni obračun režima sa Slavkom Čurovim. Iako njima to zvuči pogodnije. To je obračun režima sa svakim u ovoj zemlji koja se drzno da režimu kaže da je bolestan režim. Ja radim za to što želim da ova zemlja bude tako uređena da glavni urednici i novinari mogu slobodno da prave svoje novine, da te novine mogu slobodno da se prodaju, da građani mogu slobodno da ih čitaju. I think that Milosevic knows that he is very, very weak. And, you know, when you are weak, it's unacceptable to have some crazy journalists who will go around and try to, to make mess in the streets and saying that you are crazy and that you are acting bad, that you are, your, policies, uh, policies, your policies are catastrophic, etc., etc. We were demanding for changes all this time.